Welcome back to the Santosh Trophy 2023 action. It is the second game of Group A. Assam playing against the former champions Kerala. And of course, we've had already one fixture played here earlier in the day where services edged past Meghalaya by a solitary goal. And now is the turn of the two teams making their first appearance in the final round this season. The road to the final on 9th of March 2024 begins right here for these two teams. This is the Assam side warming up ahead of the fixture. They've kept five clean sheets in the qualifiers and scored a staggering 20 goals. And for the very first time, a tournament of such proportion taking place here in Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, says Assam's lineup, almost a similar setup like the fine in the final round. There is no need to change the dynamic midfield pivot, of course, of Pragyan and Sangson, but it is in attack where Assam's riches are all arranged. Milan Depomidha and Arjun Mardi are all more than able to change games on their own, but Assam will be chasing if they don't close down the supply line of Kerala and Shubham Raba going with a 4-3-3. And he has asserted that he will attack and if they score one more than the opponent, why not? He has an intense fixture list to deal with and momentum will be important to build. And they will hope today the shots on target will turn into goals. And the Kerala side failed to qualify for the final rounds last season, looking to make amends this term around, were placed, have won the Santosh Trophy eight. 15, uh, 7 times in the past played 15 finals 8 times runners up uh, this is how they have shaped up for their opening game a few injury concerns Bijesh and Junain ruled out and Shinu pairing Sanju at centre back and the midfield duo of Rahim and Nijo Gilbert starts uh, just protecting them Arjun and Jithin and Ashik's pace is a silver lining that change games for Kerala as Sativan Balan decides to go with a 4-4-2. Balan's big task as a head coach is to make Belgian and Salim click as they did before. And the striker Sajish keeps his place and offers a direct outlet due to his presence and strength. But he got to do it in the big games. The numbers just keeps increasing in the stands. It's been a long wait to see these fans fill up the stands. And let's hope that the former champions, Kerala, on this pitch can give them a performance to cheer for. And every touch becomes a word in a story. And every pass, every shot means so much more. And when it comes back like this in front of the fans, this is what everybody wants. The inauguration ceremony it will be held at 5 p.m. Uh, this evening. We've been s seeing videos of the fans thronging for tickets. We've been told by fans what a delight it was, even waiting in the rain, braving the weather. And this is what everybody wants and everyone associated with the sport, with any sport in this country, will be watching an event unlike any other. It looks uh, quite a wonderful setup. The trophy as well lined up in case the players need some kind of extra motivation. Uh, but Kerala playing in the northeast is always uh, exciting to see. It will be a big challenge though to adjust uh, to the conditions. It's been raining past the last uh, couple of months. The slight drizzle will make uh, the turf uh, uh, slashy as well. It will be challenging for the players to control pace. And Kerala's gambles in the qualifiers paid dividends. And while uh, Sativan Balan doesn't play his starting 11 tactics, he does make changes to affect situations off the bench. And Kerala are prone to lapses at the back. And Assam will want to pounce on them like they did in the qualifiers and so are very and cautious Kerala uh, must be and also brave and bold it is uh, gonna be like walking on a tightrope with one end in the hands of Assam and 
quite an occasion for both the state. You can hear the buzz, all, all that impatience. The football is now open to everybody to watch, witness and enjoy. And the last time around, Kerala lifted the silverware. It was back in 2022 by defeating Bengal in the final on 2nd of May at Malappuram. What a game that was. Uh, Kerala winning on in the tiebreaker. In the qualifying stage, they were placed in Group A with Goa, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir and Chhattisgarh. That memorable uh, victory against Jammu and Kashmir, the margin of 6-1. Jitin is scoring a breast in that game. And these are the two skippers, Nijo Gilbert of uh, Kerala and Milan Basumatari of Sam and the officials Ashirbat Kanungo in charge of this game and he will be assisted by Subrata Kumar Purohit and Atish Deep Mukherjee and the fourth official for today's game is Lakshay just that pre-game silence uh, introduction and formalities it will all be forgotten in a matter of few minutes uh, just a reminder about the history not just in this tournament, but across all tournaments that have come and gone in Indian football, with challenges only this country's sporting machinery can throw at you. This is the modern edition of a tournament that began in 1941, a time to write another chapter in the history of the tournament with the addition of a new venue as the footballing landscape is changing in the country. The new teams and new players emerging and certainly they cannot wait to have the ball at their feet. All goes on to turn up the expectation as to how Assam play. Exciting tournament for Kerala to how they play and always the occasion every Indian football fan. Happy that the tournament has come here and over the course of the next few years if it stays if it continues to be played at this point of the year, uh, then it becomes an absolute spectacle. Now Sam's uh, fast football can work wonders when it comes together. And the addition of more pace down the wings has helped that cause. Arjun Mardi and Deepu Midha in tandem can spell all kinds of danger as we are in for a fine game of football. And Pragyan Gogoi, of course, has been the biggest addition in the Assam squad. So expectation and anticipation among the fans and focus on the pitch. And two teams who prefers to wear vibrant colours and play vibrant football. Will Assam have a say in the race for the top spot? Or will Kerala reignite their title hopes on the back of wins? Is the question which we look to answer in the last hour and a half or so. A grifty gracious and Akhil Chandran. Mohammad Safnid replaced midfielders Bijesh Balan and striker Junain due to injuries suffered during the Kerala Premier League. And Mohammad Rashid dropped from the squad that played the qualifiers uh, to accommodate Akhil to bluster their defence. Here is a Sam on the attack. Operating from the right to left of your screen. Shubham Brapa, the head coach going with a 4-3-3. Chiranjit Gogoi, Manabir Sudim and Urjoy making up the back four. It is the route one ball. A clearance from Shinu. Rose to prominence uh, through the junior ranks of uh, Kerala Blasters. And there's a deep ball inside the box. Early defending to do uh, for Assam. Here's Arjun Mardi. 
who was a treat to watch uh, during the Durant Cup, applied his trade for a Bodoland FC. Uh, currently plays for United Chirang Duar in the I League third division. He's got four appearances uh, to his name. His Urjoy Brahma. Sudim. Back to Manabir. Kerala looking to uh, defend from the front. Uh, the attackers applying pressure on the Kerala centre backs, forcing them into mistake. So that when a mistake eventually arises, they can capitalise and score. Just like this. Beautifully intercepted. And now advancing into the area. Towards the left corner of the penalty area. Cross comes in. It's a good looking ball as well. Away to safety. Now battling for possession. Assam have it. Deepu Mirtha. Finding a lot of joy already down the left. Arjun Mardi. Stray pass in the end. We're talking about Deepu Mitta has been a Sam's star performer during the qualifiers. He played for Northeast United reserves. A couple of goals as well. Previously with a Sunrise Football Club in the Gohati Super Division. Where is Subham Raba, the first uh, football coach from Assam to be awarded an, an AFCA license. And managed the reserve teams of Northeast United. And also the grassroots uh, coordinator. At a very young age of 24, he obtained the AFCB license. He was also in charge of Bodoland FC during the Durant Cup. On the flip side, Satyvan Balan mentioned how the unavailability of some of the senior players has hampered the team's build-up for the tournament. The newly included players Akhil and Safnid were spotted while playing in the Kerala Premier League for Sports Academy Tirur. On the contrary, Assam were impeccable in defence, being the only side to keep five clean sheets during the qualifying stage. And up front, of course, Deepu Mirtha will look to build on his solid tally of seven goals. And just a goal behind Mapuya who finished as the top scorer. The inclusion of Pragyan Sundar Gogoi has made headlines. A much needed experience in Assam's midfield. Pragyan Gogoi was part of Northeast United's Indian Super League squad as well. It was indeed his fourth season running with the Highlanders. And there he is, Pragyan, measuring that pass. He's got space to run into Milan. All India Football Federation's Elite Academy product was part of AIFF's Kalyani Regional Academy. He hails from Kokrajhar. Trained under Alison Cosentu in Milan during his stay at Shillong Lajong. And here comes Kerala. It's a beautiful reverse ball for Nicho Gilbert. It goes wide. The first positive move of the game. Here's Satyvan Balan oh, on his feet. And Kerala already won the Santosh Trophy under his tenure back in 2018 and 
AFC A license holder, uh, formerly the assistant manager of Gokulam Kerala as well. This was uh, Nijo Gilbert's attempt. In a game of this stature, there should be no margin of error. Uh, Nijo Gilbert has been Kerala's star attacker. Even out of narrow openings, he can score some incredible goals which sets him apart from the rest of his teammates. And the experience of Sanju will stabilize their back line. A mistake from the keeper. The whistle is already gone. There was a foul on Abhinash. The referee already stopped play. Uh, this was the incident. And Jitin going for the ball. Keeper came out of his mark. Just colliding onto each other. Both of them went for the ball. No malice intended. And on the rebound, hitting the crossbar. Rahim. The referee had blown the whistle and is receiving treatment. It was very impressive for Kerala during the quarterfiles, Jitin. Uh, those two goals against Jammu and Kashmir uh, during the qualifying stage. Has boosted his confidence. Uh, look at that. The keeper had his eyes on the ball. The support from Kerala. Uh, good to see the fans of Kerala on the stands residing in Arunachal Pradesh. Present on the stands to support their state. And Sam had a, a very good training camp and have been able to try different tactics with the squad. Uh, the team has the balance of experienced players who have played in multiple seasons of the I-League and young players who can live up uh, to their potential. As a team, they work towards playing a brand of football which can excite and inspire the children to take up the sport. And on the ground, irrespective of the result, the team will fight throughout 90 minutes of the game. And be it in attack, defence or transition, the players fight for every ball and the fans come out in numbers and show their support. Deepu Middha. Another move developing this time from the left wing. Arjun Mardi with a couple of threatening runs already. Putting a Belgian under pressure early doors. And Sanson has been industrious in midfield. And Sam will need Pragyan Gogoi to do the talking with the ball at his feet to dictate play uh, from deep. He can uh, run the show from a deep position. That's a great ball for Nijo Gilbert. Uh, nicely closed down uh, by Manabir. Place for Kerala United, uh, the India sub junior international, making debut for Assam in the Santosh Trophy at the age of 18. Is Nijo Gilbert the first corner for Kerala? And up goes a couple of white shirts, it trickles down all the way towards the number five. And cross towards the near post easily. 
hacked away. Rahim's delivery not troubling uh, the Assam defence on that occasion. And now preparing uh, for a long throw is Belgian uh, trotting up from his right full back's position. Assam taking their time on the ball. Chase on from Ashik. Jishu can't get there. The Urjoy Brahma can. The Belgian Shinu Sanjuji and Sal Mohammed Salim forming the defense line for Kerala. Rahim and Nijo Gilbert, the two wide midfielders, Arjun and Jitin, binding the team together from deep. Anashik and Sajish Sujish up top. Uh, this is how Kerala has lined up. Yeah, there was an elbow involved in that tussle. That's a great win. A heavy touch from Nijo Gilbert. Uh, capitalized by the number 28 of Assam. And that's Manabir. So 50 years on the fragments of Kerala's first Santosh Trophy is still sweet. And so too are its memories. It was a humongous achievement uh, by underdogs Kerala on that frigid December evening at the Maharaja's College Stadium and it changed the future of the beautiful game in the state forever. All these beautiful uh, little snippets of information. Uh, Captain Mani with his uh, first hat-trick in the final against Railways gained immortality and his bunch of talented players became the first real superstars of the state. Uh, for the first time in the history of the state, the government declared a public holiday to commemorate uh, the title win by a sports team. The tackle from Rahul Das uh, putting it into touch. He's currently with Orange Football Club in the I League third division. Here is Pagyan, 30 plus appearances in the Indian uh, Super League. He's got the pedigree, he's got the caliber to turn the game on its head. Sun had managed to weather the storm and now they are looking to come out of their shell and surprise uh, Kerala uh, with a couple of attacks down the wide areas. An early challenge uh, from uh, Sanju. Here's Chiranjit Gogoi. was in action in the I-League second division playoffs with Bangalore United. Arjun. He's got Belgian to deal with. An outstretched challenge from Belgian. A referee awards a corner kick to Assam. A look at that. Uh, trying to get in behind the fullback. Got need to get the marking right. Uh, Kerala in defence. Pragyan Sundar Gogoi will deliver uh, this corner. 
Again, gazing for options. Rahul Das stuck in his choices. And dropping deep uh, to receive the ball. Uh, good to see getting involved heavily in the early stages, helping his side to initiate a uh, plays. Uh, most of that uh, so far has been uh, through the number seven, Rahul Das. And the number 14, Arjun Mardi uh, for Kerala, for Assam. On the flip side, Kerala needs to involve Nijo Gilbert more on the ball. His creativity and vision are going to help them get a goal in this game. The plan, of course, uh, from a Sam's perspective, to uh, keep Nijo Gilbert limited to chances and try and uh, minimize uh, his threat. And here comes Kerala now. Door opens up down the right. Lot of time for the cross, hangs it up at the far post, nodded back across, slightly over. Arashik, it's still open, and what a spectacular strike from Rahim. That's an absolute peach of a strike from the number five, and a glorious finish. What a curler! Now the fans are off their seat. A sublime finish from Rahim. And look at that. Forded space inside the box. And there he goes. Curling it in through the far post. And the goalkeeper had no answers to that. So Raheem Stryker heading Kerala, uh, the lead in this game. And we have an early goal here within the first 20 minutes. And this will certainly set the tempo, set the pace of this game. We'll see Sam commit bodies forward. And out of nowhere, uh, Rahim with that uh, strike. What a way to start his career in the Santosh Trophy 2023 final round. And certainly grow in confidence as a player as the tournament march on. Sam, meanwhile, stung by the reversal. Knocked out of their strides by Kerala's positive play. They'll have to try and take the sting out of Kerala's high tempo. Here is Pragyan Gogoi. Rahul Das missing out on that challenge. A Kerala have it, Nijo Gilbert. He's got an option inside him, Inashik. He goes central instead. And now the number three, once again from distance, 
rattles the crossbar all over the place at the moment Kerala turning up the heat turning the screws here it's Nijo Gilbert yet again he's got a couple of white shirts to aim at goes all by himself and draws a save out of Abhinash brilliant spell of possession from Kerala attacks from both the wings first from the right this strike from the near side by Jitin that could have been another spectacular goal and the crossbar saving grace for Assam Kerala in the driver's seat calling shots at the moment I tried to make his favorite left foot into action he was denied space oh, what do a Sam have up their sleeves now Their journey started with a triumph over Bihar, winning it 5 0, followed uh, by an impressive 1 0 victory against the railways. Then the win over Chandigarh and Rajasthan, beating Himachal Pradesh 7 0 in their last group game. This is the first goal conceded by Assam in this edition of the Santosh Trophy. Kerala player receiving treatment. In 1973, the Santosh Trophy was played under floodlights for the first time. And the entire Kerala team was uh, playing under the lights for the first time. The tournament started rather ominously uh, for the hosts as it lost its first choice goalkeeper, Victor Manjila, to a fractured shoulder in the opening game against Delhi and Kerala has a long footballing history he keeps his balance on that occasion is Ashik attacking the ball from the left hand side is Nijo Gilbert layoff for the number three Jitin this time it's a low ball in, uh, taken away by the ever-present Manabir and the Assam defence. Early changes from Shubham Raba. Uh, the number 47, Alfred, will be summoned. Uh, Joydeep Gogoi as well will come on to strengthen uh, their attacking force. Uh, Joydeep uh, replacing Sankson. Uh, let's see how this move works uh, for Shubham Raba. Alfred as well will have a huge role to play. Surprising to see Arjun Mardi uh, coming off. Again, uh, slicing it up. 
chested down by Raheem, the goal scorer. Here is Sajish. On to Raheem. He's offering that run. Raheem obliging him. Oh, the cross is out of play. Jesse number 11 Oh, this was the moment. The flag uh, went up almost immediately. Uh, similar to Kerala. Uh, Guwahati is also a sports loving city. The passion for football is unparalleled. They played their group matches at the Sai ground in Kokrajhar, uh, delivering a dominating performance. Maintaining an unblemished record. And Sam here showing some desperation for the equalizer. Miscalculating the bounce on this occasion. And the shot from Alfred was blocked. Corner for Sam. They look to equalize in the first half. Pragyan Gogoi in corner duties. It's a good looking ball. Escaping all the red shirts. Now setting the break here is Nijo Gilbert. Uh, tearing away at the other end. It didn't work out. Milan Basumatari, the number 26, scored in third minute. And against Himachal Pradesh, followed by Joydeep Gogoi. A strike in the 12th and the 13th minute. He scored a brace, in fact. It's good to see they've got goal scorers all across the pitch. This was another hopeful attempt from the number 29 of Kerala, Arjun V. Don Bosco Football Academy product. Half an hour just flown past us in the second game of Group A. It's Kerala leading Assam by a goal to nil. And that spectacular striker from Rahim uh, has been the difference maker between the two sides. Still a lot of time left uh, for Assam to make a, a game out of this. Uh, Shubham Raba certainly unhappy uh, with his team's approach. He's a kind of coach who puts a lot of emphasis on work ethics. He will be sad to see his side trailing by a solitary goal. Now it's Alfred getting into the mix. The cross comes in. And that was a difficult uh, one to execute uh, for the skipper. Alfred's ball getting up between the two centre backs so was Milan. Just shaving the head of the former Shillong Lajong striker. And now he could run free. Goes on the outside. Quite predictable uh, for the number 28, Manabi. Very difficult to move him off the ball. A Sajish with the attempt. A great anticipation from Manabir, avoiding the danger. Nijo Gilbert uh, combining with Rahim on the right hand side. It was a weak cross, a very comfortable clearance by the Assam defense. And now picking it up. In the opposition's half, Nijo Gilbert shifting flanks, now operating from the right. Belgian on to Arjun. Well read by Chiranjit Gogoi. 
Pragyan. Finding Alfred in a lot of space. Uh, looking for that slide rule pass. Just uh, can't find his uh, teammate. Uh, the balls are quite re reaching the likes of Deepu Midha up top. They got to keep trying and keep chasing. That's much like it uh, from Assam. Well, the shot goes haywire. The number 11 with the attempt, Joydeep. Lovely opening ceremony awaits us. Now make sure you tu tune in at 5 p.m. for the opening ceremony of the 77th National Football Championship Fasantos Trophy 2023. The hosts will be in action against Goa. And that's a 7 p.m. kickoff. Raheem gathering it. And looking to take on Chiranjit Gogoi. That's a decent ball. It runs down all the way to Nijo Gilbert. And the first time cross. It's a disappointing one. A quick turnover for Assam. Chiranjit on the overlap. He got to look towards the right, which he does. Players steaming inside the penalty area. Kept in play nicely. Well read. Excellent tracking back from Nijo Gilbert. Assam upping the ante. Pragyan Gogoi. That's a great release. And chance for the equaliser. The flag just going up. Got to bend his run for about half a second early. The Pragyan Gogoi. Offside by a couple of yards. It was Deepu Midha. Coach is making early changes. A change lining up for Kerala as well is the number nine. A gifty gracious uh, will come on. He will uh, replace Jitin. Substitution for Team Kerala. Nine in this number two out. Shubham Rapa expressed satisfaction with the team's performance, emphasizing their unity and hard work, and also acknowledging the need for improvement in the final round. They are down by a goal. It all comes down to passion and character. Does Assam have the passion and character to make a comeback in this game? The fur for the very first time they've been in this kind of a situation, chasing a game. Like I mentioned, they haven't conceded in the qualifiers. Four teams to qualify from each group for the quarterfinals. Rahul Dawson now pairing up with Pragyan Gogoi in the middle of the park. Rahul Das does all the dirty work and uh, Pragyan has been given the license to move forward and support Deepu Midha, Milan and Alfred in attack. And when you have a player like Rahul Das behind you who offers uh, so much stability, has got great positioning sense as well. Uh, does take uh, some uh, pressure off your shoulder. giving you the luxury to focus only in attack 
that doesn't need to drop back and support your partner. A decision going a Sam Sway. Throughout the journey, the tournament, Sam have showcased both offensive prowess and defensive strength. Having scored a total of 20 goals in five matches and maintaining five clean sheets. But all of that in the past now. It all comes down to the present and to the future. And at present here, they are trailing by a goal. In this lovely stadium of Golden Jubilee is situated at Upia, uh, which is the headquarters of Papumpare district and about uh, 20 kilometers drive from Itanaga, the state capital. One of the best things about this beautiful town is that its inhabitants have uh, preserved their diverse culture and tradition with a touch of love and togetherness. Uh, there are many tribes in the Vin City, but the majority is of Nishi. Uh, the essence of ardor in the air during their vibrant festivals enlivens the psyche. The Long Te Yalo and the Yokum Yalo are the festivals celebrated with a tremendous zeal. Slowly and steadily making their reputation of being a sporting nation as well. The Northeastern states are always known for their footballing prowess. Uh, that's a free kick uh, conceded in a very dangerous area. A challenge uh, from behind by Sudem. Uh, slightly frustrated. The number 33. And now Nijo Gilbert uh, with the opportunity to get the insurance goal for Kerala. The former champions will look to put the game to bed in the first half itself. Can be challenging to match in terms of pace uh, with Sam in the second half, especially in the last 20 minutes. All eyes on Nijo Gilbert, this time with his left foot. He goes a sailing over uh, the crossbar. And Sam has made its way through to the top echelon of regional football with the focus on grassroots. Without it, no future as grassroots leagues are the most important aspect for any football structure. The establishment of age group leagues in the state to nurture the future generation of talent. Follow the proper guidelines of AIFF to conduct the under 13, the under 15 and the under 17 leagues successfully. And most of the students are from schools. So picking kids from each and every school of Guwahati City and added a proper football training program in their daily schedule. They've also stressed on the importance of winning the Santosh Trophy. There are a lot of craze for football in Assam. The football academies in the area and are aiming to lead the Assam football to new heights. Firstly, the need to win the Santos Trophy and make more players from the state to play in the Indian Super League and in the I-League. 
And here comes Sam. Still in search of that equalizer. In just a couple of hours uh, from now there will be the opening ceremony of the 77th National Football Championship for Santos Trophy 2023 at the Golden Jubilee Outdoor Stadium, Yupia, which is the official venue of this edition of the National Football Championship. There will be a huge uh, turnout uh, when the home team takes on Goa, 7 p.m. Before that, we have the opening ceremony at 5 p.m. Pragyan Gogoi in the first half with most number of touches on the ball. And Rahul Das will be second best on that chart. It hasn't been a productive yet. Another long ball. And making things easy uh, for the Kerala defense. Just closing down the nearby passing options and forcing the opposition to take the area loot to go over the top. Now these players from Assam, they lack uh, physicality. The ripped dividends when they played the ball to feet which is their forte a much much dangerous side Sam when they keep the ball on the deck and move it around with certain swiftness the third man movement that hasn't happened yet Kerala managing to contend them so far as we approach at the end of the first half so less than uh, 20 seconds of regulation time remaining there will be few minutes added on to the regulated 45 for sure and there's Raheem on your screen the man who scored uh, that screamer additional time of four minutes the Sanjuji Place for Kerala Police, 29 year old. There's that window down the left. The run was offered by Alfred, but you got to see that run. It turns very quickly and now runs towards goal. Alfred in space and a delivery. A disappointing one, a forgettable one for the youngster, rather. They're getting there, they're getting in the final third. Just got to figure out combinations. Here comes Kerala. Chase on from Nijo Gilbert. The kept in play. And buys a throw in as well. And the Southerners has won the Santos Trophy seven times. Played in 15 finals. Eight times runners up. They've collected nine points in the qualifying stage, winning three of their four games. 
They've scored 12 goals and conceded only two. And meanwhile, there was another attempt. Now the keeper gets a touch to it. The number 29 joining in the party. It was Arjun. And good save from Abhinash getting down on time. And just pairing it behind for a corner. Swings his left foot. Here's Mijo Gilbert. That's a good looking ball. Uh, the goalkeeper was completely flabbergasted. And a decoy run made inside the box by Ashik. Uh, look at that. It's just coming in from the blind side. Uh, the defender not aware of his surroundings. That's a clever move uh, from Kerala. Making good use of their experience of playing top-level football. It's Milan, the skipper. Chips it towards Deepu Mirda, who's lost his footing. The Sam has been toothless. Going in attack so far in this game. A referee blows the whistle and brings the first half uh, to an end. Uh, Kerala go into uh, the break with a solitary lead over Assam. Uh, thanks to that uh, strike uh, from Rahim on the 19th minute mark. A lot of work uh, to be done by the team in red when they come on in the second half they have made a lot of entries in the final third but not managed to make their chances count in Kerala on the flip side looked in complete control of this game Sam had uh, the lion's share of possession but it all comes down to the number of goals that are being scored in a game of football. And that's why you can see two shots on target and one converted. 100% conversion rate. And that is what has made the difference in the first half. And Nijo Gilbert has been very impactful in the first half from both the wings. A couple of a decent deliveries from the left, then one from the right. This time slightly over. Ashik and then quickly onto the second ball. Opens up his body. A wonderful strike. The way he generated that backlift, minimal backlift. And just slams it home. Hitting and the crossbar, Jitin, who was subbed off. And Sam also making a couple of changes, bringing on Arjun Alfred in place of Arjun Mardi. Uh, this was Abhinash uh, called into action late in the first half. So at the break, it's a Sam nil, Kerala one. We'll come back very soon.
Welcome back to the coverage of the Santosh Trophy 2023 year live from the Golden Jubilee Stadium, Upia. It's Assam who are up against Kerala in a Group A clash where the latter went into the break with a goals a cushion. And Assam can't really afford any space to Kerala to take a shot. We saw a couple of times Jitin getting closer, hitting the crossbar. And Nijo Gilbert, one danger man in there. He has the ability and the vision to change the course of the match. A Pragyan Gogoi a tasked with distributing the ball and getting into the open spaces between the defenders. He's a man to watch out for. A couple of tactical changes are made in the first half by Shubham Raba, bringing on Alfred and Joydeep. Tupu Brahma getting ready to come on in the second half in place of uh, Sudem in defence. Uh, Sathivan uh, Balan also uh, responding uh, with a change, uh, bringing on Grifty in place of Jitin. Uh, Grifty gracious. I haven't seen much of him since he's come on. Hopefully he will be involved more in the second half of the game. And the onus will be on the likes of Raheem and Nijo Gilbert to bring him into the game. Now the crowd started to gather here at the Golden Jubilee Stadium. A crowd of all age groups. Arunachal Pradesh hosting the Santosh Trophy. We made waves outside India as well. It's a momentous occasion for this northeastern state. This is the confirmation of the change in Tupu Brahma replacing Sudem. Sanjuji, the centre back into his third season with Kerala in the Santosh Trophy. He's got good height, got the aerial prowess, a very strong defender. And both the teams trying to play to their plan. It's been uh, difficult for both of them to get hold of the ball and keep it for a prolonged period in the last 15 minutes, but I don't think it's part of the strategy or approach in this one. It's important to attack and both of them putting all their might into the attack. They have the energy, they have the skill to move forward. But Kerala has been the better of the two sides on paper. And Nijo Gilbert has been very busy. Also the set-piece expert of the side. We witnessed an interesting battle between the right full-back Churanjit Gogoi and Rahim in the first half. Uh, Skill-wise, uh, they are like to like. They've got good strength. But it's important when you have the ball, how many passing options and outlets you have. Uh, that is one area where Kerala have outshone. Uh, Sam. The men in red looking to play high press in game. Every time the ball goes inside uh, the Kerala half, they seem to press. There's a confirmation of the change on the top left corner of your screen. It's Tupu Brahma replacing Sudem Wari. A third change uh, made by Subham Rabha. And Sam versus Kerala then. Oh, one team has already tasted that sweetness of victory in the past. And the other who was left with disappointments despite their best efforts. Sam needs to live up to their name should they have to defeat the mighty Kerala. And of course when it comes to experience one would think that it favours Kerala. And likewise they are in the lead. A lack of maturity uh, from the likes of Milan, Deepu Midha and Alfred in the attacking third have made an impact, a negative impact rather, on Assam. Nijo Gilbert yet again at the centre of things, uh, trying to carve open uh, the Assam defence, just cutting in. 
from the left on to his right. Wrong footing. Uh, the full back. Ujjoy Brahma. There's the tussle between uh, Sajish and the Milan. By the former bringing down at the number 26. Another wasteful boss. But he's clutching his knee. That looks quite painful. Mm. A 26 year old. Uh, Sajish uh, comes from Palakkad, uh, plays his club football for Kerala Police. Uh, recently part of the FC Kerala, the side that participated in the I-League Second Division. He's scored a couple of goals in five appearances. And Chiranjit Gogoi. It has been booked for that challenge. Here come Sam. In search of the equalizer. Every time they look to enter the halfway mark, just pegged back completely into the own half uh, by Kerala's high press. Uh, here is uh, Sajish. He's got a lot of options and outlets on the wing. Building up from behind, a slight mistake uh, from Chiranjit. A throw in for Kerala. A bad toucher from the skipper. Uh, capitalized by Kerala. Uh, that's a high diagonal. A first touch making life difficult uh, for Nijo Gilbert. A previous opportunity. Yet again, Nijo Gilbert with that cross uh, could have uh, scored the second one. Just not managing to uh, get the right connection, uh, Sajish inside the penalty area another tug from behind on Nijo Gilbert is causing all sorts of problems in this game he's been the unsung hero for Kerala it's a free kick. And Nijo Gilbert. What can he conjure from this angle? Back into the mix. Away to safety. Rahul Das. Almost squeezed between a couple of white shirts Alfred That's a searching ball he finds Tipu Mirda it's still with Deepu Mirda He's trying to accelerate past his man. Oh, goes to the ground asking for a penalty. 
There the referee waves away the protest. We'll have a look. Nothing serious inside the box. He went down too easily. And Tipu Mirda. Ashurbath Kanun Go had an easy decision to make. He can get there with his pace. It's Milan. But pursued uh, by Belgian. Across from the left this time. He comes back to Milan. Sam, meanwhile, throwing the kitchen sink at Kerala. Now, the first 15 minutes of the second half are going to be very crucial for them. Now, Kerala will have to see off this phase. The first 15 20 minutes before they get their foothold back in the game. on the heels and Sanju is Dripu Mirda who comes out with the ball just couldn't fight his teammate Milan and needed a better delivery than that wins it clean off Sanju and Milan was waiting on the edge of the sixth yard box Well, the delivery was very poor within the keeper's range. His Gilbert uh, gives it to Gifty Gracious. Switches wing onto the goal scorer, Rahim, who fails to keep the ball in play. And nicely shrugged off by Urjoy Brahma. The Kerala football certainly has been on the rise. At the national competition, the beat in the club level, on the national stage, and Gokulam winning the back-to-back -back I League titles a couple of years from now. And then that Santosh Trophy win uh, back home, beating West Bengal in the final. And the Kerala Blasters playing the final of the Indian Super League. And losing out to Hyderabad. Uh, Kerala football certainly has been on the rise. An underwhelming season last time around. In the National Football Championship that have come back strong uh, this season. They're certainly going to be one of the favourites to lift the title for the eighth time. Uh, West Bengal, of course, are the most successful team in this uh, competition with 32 titles. The Punjab, a second best on that list with eight. This was a nudge from Rahul Das. Sanju. With that sweeping ball out wide towards Rahim. Looking to stitch few passes together. And now running into space is the goal scorer. First touch slightly impoverished and trying to get ahead of his marker was Ashik. But the quality of the delivery got to be better than that. Somehow managing to keep the ball in play. And 
A bright idea, but slight failure in execution. Alfred has got a man outside him. Chiranjit Gogoi on the overlap. He's got Salim to deal with. Another aimless ball inside the box. Chance for Assam to build on something. Try and involve their fullbacks. And wide midfielders combining with the wingers to dominate the wide areas and get some quality inside the penalty area. The wide midfielders sending those deliveries inside the box and the wingers looking to cut in and take a shy at goal uh, from the edge of the box. Uh, Kerala having more number up top even while defending. That always uh, favours a counter-attacking play to thrive. You can quickly switch from one end to the other in the blink of an eye and get inside the opposition's box with minimal touches. Another between the line pass. Alfred looks up once. And finds Deepu Midha, who's drifting out wide. Ball comes in towards Alfred. And Salim was uh, very strong there inside the area. Striding out of defence now, the number 28. Manabir. A relentless pressure from Assam. Rahul Das. Close to him is Milan. A couple of white shirts patrolling. Forced to play it back. That's a deep cross, but out of play. And finally, some respite uh, for Kerala. A very hard-walking midfielder, Rahul Das. Uh, played for Bangalore United. Uh, once in the I-League second division. A product of the Garhwal Football Academy. season campaigner in the Delhi Premier League as well at one point of time another injury concern the medical team had to intervene that was the incident and going in tight on Ashik The crowd all in eagerness. The next uh, fixture is a big one. Arunachal against Goa. Uh, this is the moment of brilliance in this game. There's that knock back over Ashik. Uh, that magic with his left foot from Rahim. And the best goal of this evening so far. We'll be hoping to see more of that over the course of this tournament. The clearance is slightly hasty from Kerala. Pragyan Gogoi. Nicely done. Quick feet from the number 10. Nijo Gilbert, gifty gracious. We've just crossed the hour mark. The score line still 1 0 in favor of Kerala.
Sanjay G at the back has been the mainstay for Kerala. That's a quick turn heading towards the final third. And the ball is won back by Kerala. Looking to just slow down the tempo of the game. He received a blow on his nose, the number 15, Sajish. And the game between Mikhalaya and Services has been very competitive earlier in the day. We saw a late goal from Shafil Pipi uh, from the penalty spot. The services uh, currently leading uh, the group A, uh, sitting up top with three points. Uh, Kerala to follow suits if the, this game ends this way. Balan has got options. He's got two weapons in his armory. The likes of Mohammed Safnid can be a very good option uh, to bring on. Had a decent season in the Kerala Premier League with Sports Academy Tirur. And Akbar uh, Siddiqui is another hard working player. In case uh, Sadveen Balan decides to sit on this lead and shut shop, he will opt to bring in, to make those two changes. That's a giveaway. Sam from the left, Deepu Mirtha quickly closed down by Belgian, is keeping a very a close eye on the number 19. The lean and lanky striker can also operate down the wings and Pragyan Gogoi and let's fly. Sam certainly needs more of that. A positive intent. Another cheap uh, giveaway. And this can prove to be very costly. Alfred. Another 50 50 ball towards Pagyan. Cut off by Kerala. That's a great ball towards the number 17. Layoff and the second goal. Great setup from Ashik towards the on rushing striker. And Sajish doubles the lead for Kerala. The two strikers finally combine in this game. And they finally breach uh, the Assam defense. Within three touches, we have a goal here. Rahim strike in the first half, increased by Sajish in the second. Look at this build up. Nijo Gilbert with a brilliant through ball towards Ashik. 
takes a look towards his partner Sajish, releasing the ball just in time. And the number 15 makes no mistake in placing it into the net. A well deserved lead for Kerala. I'm got to try and do something different here. But Sajish immediately get taken off after scoring. Stephen Balam just preserving him for the rest of the tournament. And Mohammed Safnid replacing him. be intriguing to see when uh, Subham Braba looks towards Akrang Narzari, the young striker who is on the bench. The Deepu Mirza has been pretty silent in this game. Uh, both the goal scorers are replaced. Uh, Rahim and Sajish taken off. Natsari uh, comes on uh, for a Sam. Exactly the change I was talking about. Uh, Chudanjit Gogoi, the fullback, makes way for him. Quickly reverting to a 3-4-3, a three, three, Subham Raba with Manabir, Tupu Brahma and Urjoy Brahma in defence. And Alfred will drop, drop into midfield now to accommodate the space for Akran Narzari up top. A tactical tweak uh, from Shubham Raba. Now let's see how this works. Here is Alfred. A clever play from the number 47. A nice dummy. Opens up for the number 15 and just inches away from Deepu Mirda. So, so dangerous on the turn. Uh, was Akran Nazari coming off the bench and almost getting on the score sheet. That's more like it uh, from Assam. And Kerala just seemed to have taken their foot off the pedal. Nijo Gilbert has been a treat to watch so far all over the field of play the number seven started on the left shifted to the right and now operating from the center a brilliant display of skill character work ethics and temperament from this kerala side gifty gracious They're cut out by urjoy Rahul Das, Pragyan, Alfred looking to reinstate the move, trying to spot the run of Akrang Narzari. The ball just out of steam for a goal kick.
Sam will have to work their socks off if they are to make it uh, to the knockout stage. It's a pretty difficult uh, group. And the group A consisting of the teams like Goa, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Kerala, Services and Meghalaya. Here comes Milan. Goes on the outside but desperate defending. Body on the line uh, from Shinu. Kerala concedes a corner here. Sam looking good. Milan with the corner towards the near post, a wasted one. Needs a more purchase on the delivery. This time opting for a long throw in, Manabir. Referee just approaching uh, towards the technical area. There will be a yellow card for Shubham Raba, the head coach of Assam. He looked quite animated. And Manabid's throw in arrowed inside the box. Rahul Das was very loose and gifty gracious. Quickly onto him. He's stolen a march here and marginally away from settling into the far corner. Gifty gracious creating this opportunity all by himself. And very nearly Kerala tripling uh, their lead. <laughs> Champagne football from the Keralians. Here's Ashik. Another delightful through ball. Opens up for Kerala. And a great save from Abhinash. Is still alive for the men in white. Takes a tumble and quickly up. Nursery. It's been end to end action. All the teams going all out. Deepu Midda. Kerala are well aware of the fact goal difference can be a factor in terms of qualification. They look to start off their campaign with a healthy goal average. And now brings it down for Pragyan Gogoi. Tempting bounce for the number 10. But the shot blazed over. End of the fifth quarter. We step into the last quarter of this game. It's Kerala leading Assam by two goals to nil. A first half strike from Rahim and then Sajish extending the lead in the second half. Pragyan Gogoi had an opportunity to reduce the margin for Assam. Pragyan, one way then the other. Got to be careful here, Sam. Giving away possession. The play was on rushing inside the penalty area. Uh, but the goal won't stand. The referee has blown the whistle. 
Nijo Gilbert yet again running the show. And the keeper had to stretch. Undoubtedly, he is uh, the player of the match, Nijo Gilbert, involved in uh, both the goals. This time, opportunity to reduce the margin. And Assam has pulled one back through Deepu Midda. Game on here at the Golden Jubilee Stadium. End-to-end -end action, breathtaking football. You simply cannot take your eyes off it. Deepu Midda brings one back for Assam. And game on here. What a comeback. Still about 13 minutes of regulation time left. Plenty of time to bounce back. A great release uh, from Akrag Narzari. And Deepu Midda with the finish. Another diagonal. Milan. A couple of white shirts upon him. Rahul Das digs it out. Close down, and now Alfred with the floater. Corner for Sam. I've tasted blood here. The designated home team of this game. And looking to wipe off the lead here. It will be a great comeback story. If then manages to find the second goal. Milan. That's a good ball. Head up brought down and, and a chance for Assam. And it goes out for a goal kick. And suddenly Kerala switched off at the back. And it's Assam in the ascendancy. The header just not finding Deepu Midda. The complexion of the game has changed very quickly. The Kerala at one point looked to be in complete control of the game. Uh, but that striker from Deepu Midda has uh, given Assam a lease of life. A new breath of life and these are the goals uh, beginning with Raheem's strike of the first half on top of the pile look at the technique the curl and this is the second goal an assist from Ashik and Sajish making it 2-0 a typical poachers finish before Deepu Midda brought one back, capitalizing on Akran Narzari's pass. The game is getting physical, tempers fraying here. But this is how Assam fought back. Deepu Midda scored seven during the qualifying stage. Adds another to his tally. No receiving treatment. No meanwhile, Mohammed Salim. The Kerala will look to throw, slow things down here. And this is how uh, both of them. They got involved. Just that trailing leg. Hitting him on his tummy. And 
But Kerala certainly needs to kill the tempo, kill the pace of this game. Sanju finds Akbar. Too strong for that challenge here to Pubrahma. Maybe Sam Bent just urging the players on. Rahul Das. And the crowd are loving it at the moment. Rahul Das, the distributor in chief. This time another a Kerala player has gone to the ground asking for the stretcher or referee Ashubhat Kanungo. Seems like he's twisted his ankle. Very awkward landing. Kerala are down to 10 men momentarily. Sam got to make this numerical advantage count. Scuffs it. The clearance not too far though. All the red shirts loitering around the penalty area. Sam goes all guns blazing. <laughs> Stephen Pollen will have to look for a replacement of his defender. He's got Nitin Madhu on the bench. And the yellow card comes out and this time it's uh, Satheevan Balan. Uh, both the head coaches uh, goes into the referee's book. Uh, Kerala looks to make a couple of changes. Uh, Gracious will come off. And Nathan Madhu uh, comes on. A defender uh, being introduced. So the intentions are quite clear. And Kerala looking to sit on this lead and play on the counter. Naresh is also on. Uh, number 11. A flurry of changes. Uh, for Kerala, they've exhausted all their five changes. Time ticking away for Assam. Here's Ashik. A great touch, and now an acceleration, a progress down the left. Nicely thwarted.
Rahul Das. Just shielding off a Naresh. And here comes a Sam. They got to quickly get the ball into the box. Try and look to play direct in the last few minutes of this game. Here's Rahul Das with another long ball. A very weak clearance. Had options on his left and right, Akram Narzari. The man with uh, the assist is setting up that goal for Deepu Middha. Again, spreading it out wide. Manabir with another uh, mistake, but this time the goalkeeper bailing him out. Rahul Das. Alfred. The cramps here in the closing doors of the game. And the players have have put in a lot of effort. They seem to have drained out. This game has been up and down, especially in the second half. Ashik this time who will be stretched off. A worrying signs on the Kerala bench. lot of minutes uh, will be added on here Sam's they still have time to grab an equalizer and the crowds have started to uh, fill up the stands the home team in action next and the opening ceremony is going to Add a cherry on top of the cake. Eight minutes of additional time. A lot of red shirts inside the box and nursery. Hits the crossbar. And Sam getting so, so close. And nearly finding the equalizer. Uh, look at that nursery with a fine leap. Sanju was left for dead. Keeper off his mark. And the rub of the green just not going. A Sam Sway. Ashik. Simply ran off the pitch. Attacking with intensity. Yeah, this was very much anticipated. Assam is going to play a fast-paced game in the last 20 minutes. I mentioned it time and again in the first half as well. Full throttle attack. Pragyan trying to spot the number 15 inside the box. He does so. But Akrang Narzari has missed it. Can you believe it? The goal just gaping there. Beating the offside trap. Just not finding the bottom corner. Uh, the Assam bench was up on their feet. 
that could have been a remarkable comeback. Pragyan Gogoi and the flag will go up against Deepu Mirda. End to end stuff. The Kerala sluggish at the back. Shubham Rabha has injected pace by bringing on Akrag Narzari. And here they come yet again. Milan on his bike down the left. Pragyan. Still about five minutes remaining. And Sam can draw a lot of plaudits from the fact the way they played the last 20 minutes of this game. A testament to their fitness just wind knocked out of Kerala sails they've certainly put the shoulder to the wheel and now suddenly caught unaware at the back and Nicho Gilbert Puts the game to bed. What a strike from the number seven. He's been involved in the first two goals scored by Kerala. And getting on the score sheet himself in the dying stages of the game. And just when it seemed Assam would creep in into the game. And Nijo Gilbert. Uh, putting a spanner in a Sam's hope of a comeback uh, tonight. And the grounder uh, beating Abhinash all ends up. And what a turn of events against the run of play. And Nijo Gilbert has sealed the deal for Kerala. The yellow card that comes out of the referee's pocket. And this time it's Ashik, the number 17 of Kerala. And that was the incident arm involved uh, while going up we are into the final minute of this clash it has been a lip smacking encounter Nijo Gilbert and lets it run. And such a delight to watch another chance for Kerala to increase their margin. Sam throwing bodies forward and in the bargain, leaving the back door open. And that is how Nijo Gilbert scored the third goal. And Naresh on that occasion almost heading in the fourth. Uh, 
it has been a great fight nonetheless from Assam. They got to reduce uh, the errors in defense. And the defensively, they did look a very solid side during the qualifying campaign. A completely a different picture uh, this evening in Arunachal Pradesh. The Kerala breaking their defense twice. It's a cause of concern. for the head coach Shubham Rabha. Manabir will take the throw in. Naresh. And back into the danger area. Pragyan, this Naresh just stepping in. One last roll of the dice from Kerala, saw the keeper well out of his position. Went from distance, Naresh. Uh, tried to catch the keeper off guard. And that's the full-time whistle from Ashirbad Kalungo. And a victory for Kerala. They really had to work hard, especially in the last 25 minutes of the game. What Assam had put on a show here. Raheem giving them the lead in the first half. Sajish extending it in the second. And then Deepu Midha strike, bringing back Assam into the game. But Nijo Gilbert had the last say. It's been a commendable performance from Kerala's number seven. Especially the way he's operated from the wide areas. The time and again teased and tormented Assam's defence. On the flip side, Assam will have to work on their basic, go back to the drawing board and work on their loopholes. Kerala will replace the services and occupy the top spot temporarily in Group A. This is how the second game of uh, the day started uh, between Assam and Kerala. Uh, both the teams making a fresh start to their campaigns. Uh, Nijo Gilbert uh, continued to uh, trouble uh, Sam's defense with those quality uh, deliveries. Uh, this is what I was mentioning. He was uh, involved in all the three goals. Uh, his cross uh, from the left and from the right have made uh, Sam defense jitter. Uh, this was uh, Jitin from distance hitting the woodwork. Kerala dominating the first half. Sam making a, a quick start in the second half. The hero of this game, without a shadow of a doubt, was Nijo Gilbert. Deepu Midha putting his body weight on Sanju and winning it. 
And a miss kick from Sanju. And Belgian just helping out his defense. And this is how uh, Sajish over set up by Ashik for the second goal. Excellent release just behind the defender. Saw the man coming. And just placing it uh, towards his path. And Akram Narzari had a chance to get his name on the score sheet much, much earlier. Uh, this was Abhinash uh, with the save and against the run of play. Deepu Midha uh, pulling a one back and giving a Sam some kind of hope of a comeback in this game. Uh, Pragyan Gogoi with that lofted pass and this was uh, Sam's best chance of this game uh, to equalize. Before this happened, Nijo Gilbert just giving the youngster a lesson in finishing. Uh, picking up a yellow card, uh, Pragyan Gogoi uh, for the challenge on uh, Naresh in the later stages of uh, the game. And in the end, a hard-fought victory uh, for Kerala. So at full time, it's Assam 1, Kerala 0. When we come back, it's the third game of the day where Arunachal Pradesh will host uh, Goa. Before that, at uh, 5 p.m. is going to be the opening ceremony. Do not forget to tune in for that. Goodbye for now.